What is happening guys, Cowboy here, and we're back. So since we already started this area, we're just going to go ahead and finish it. Get this annoying ass sniper out of the way. Honestly, silly how much damage this thing is doing. So that shortcut coming in handy. Drop that on him. That. I guess we could, if we want, try and kill this guy. The thing is, he doesn't respawn. So if you can get like carries off and shit, it's not that bad. Oh no, he broke our shield. Parrying is probably one of the best ways to kill this guy, if you can do it. As you can see, he's also able to heal himself. Parry into all three of our specials. Got him down. Got a soul stone out of it as well. That. Um, smite this asshole to the face. Ooh. Ooh hoo, 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 hoo. Cinder bow plus three. Yes, I will. Right. Continuing on forward then. So, shoot that. Oh. Him out. That guy. Cut him down. Perhaps get rid of those. And we're going to enter the first house. No, actually, we're not going to enter the first house. So this is where I wanted to get to before. Up on down, and there is our statue. So before we do that, well, call the horse. As I mentioned, this is you know, basically like a fast travel type highway. That way. Take this even further. This will bring us all the way over to this. Yep. Getting some easy shards real fast off these guys, but going down is where we're going to be going uh, after this area. So we can't test that just yet. But anyway, let's go here. We will rest. That up. Start getting my strength up again. More golden knights we're gonna take out. First, we will go in. Take out these two first, I guess. Here. Even if I have no interest in a priesthood, I will always grab everything I can because that's stuff to sell. There is the second Origa book. Up that and go in and to right, I just used that other a second ago. Don't like an asshole.
Thankfully, this is an easy run back. We can just do this, rest. And I mean, it's really not bad doing this run over and over again. You know, we're just, uh, we're healing. Um, now, as for what's coming up, it's a bleed bow uh, in that chest. Pretty good bleed bow. Not the, the best thing, uh, considering we got an upgraded fire bow to drop. More than likely, we'll continue to use that. Um, you know, kind of hard to use an upgraded item. Oh my god. Alright. There we go. Bow of the damned. Now I'll heal up. your little Dragoon Dime, that's cute. Oh boy, that was fun. Most of my health now. We gotta take out Golden Knight number two. So the good, the good thing at least is the Golden Knights don't respawn. So once you get this guy out of the way, you don't have to worry about him again. Aim to do the thingy where he does like these really slow swings. Killing yourself. Alright, you're getting really fucking irritating. See, this is why I just like Golden Knights. And the thing is, at this point, um, you know, we have three different areas we can go. We can go this way. We can go down below, which is is uh, probably equal. Or we can go up top, which I would say is harder. But so to to go this way, um, at least with any kind of consistency, you know, we got to get past these golden knights. And the thing is, because they're so parry heavy, oh, here we what go. Do you another, dream of becoming, Soren? Another cutscene for us. I'm gonna be a soldier just like you. <laughs> I'm glad. But you know I wasn't always a soldier. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> You'll have plenty of time to figure it out. Just remember, whatever you do, give it your all. Okay? I will say is interesting is these cutscenes I'm getting are uh, slightly different from the ones that I got on other playthroughs of the game so far. Basically, if I just spam attacks. Looks like that might actually work. Fucking asshole. Alright. Well, even though he's dead, let's drop down. As I mentioned, they don't respawn. Drop down, rest up. Doesn't hurt to do that. Get that strength up. We're gonna push it to about 20. I keep using the longsword. The scaling of this thing is pretty sick, to be honest. Spellbinder's Aura. Remember that is one of the starting items. Here is another we can go into. I 
God, the explosive bolts on these guys. Church basement key. We're going to need that momentarily here. Church. Down we go. And that's where we get the church basement key. Because now. That. And we have this. Now, for this next fight, we fight Orega, which is the sniper from earlier. Now, this fight can go uh, very, very easy, or it can be one of the hardest fights in the game, depending on uh, your patience, basically. Uh, additionally, um, one of your feathers is going to get lost. So there's basically two ways to do this. Either one, you chuck everything away, and well, we'll, we'll show you both. We'll do this one. First, we'll do the one where you chuck all your feathers away. Don't worry about the feathers at all. This is going to be a, a method that revolves around blocking. This is what happens when I stay up all night recording. <laughs> revolves around basically blocking everything she does, having uh, perfect blocks on the snipes and getting in damage. The other option is to just be ready to buy back a plume, knowing that you can spend shards to get it back and just bring a buttload into the fight to heal with. This church was a monument to him once the bulwark chosen of Baldwin people clamored in adoration they sought to be anointed as he was by self-proclaimed gods usurpers who touted him like a trophy inspiring entire generations into fervent devotion. In return, they promised immortality. Then you walk among the fools and the ghosts of Alduin. I watched as the bulwark's mind and body slowly decayed, but he never lost his sense of purpose, despite any who prayed here. Having long since perished, and now you, who have silenced his thunder, this storm that once heralded judgment, now who shall deem whether one is worth becoming immortal or not? Perhaps I shall take upon his mantle. So as we go on ahead, it's time for the boss fight. Now if you had death, we can get that going up in here this is where we're going to be getting imprisoned so basically if you die you get imprisoned run on ahead though and we're going to see if we can pull this off without dying got two of those so it's not completely out of the question why have you come to disturb the dead One, two, and it stops. The best bet is going to be to roll dodge that, and like this. Let's see, you're going to have to very, very carefully watch your position. Oh, see, like that one went right through.
Use it. Thing is, you can sh block some of the sniper shots. The ones that are like this, you can't. But the uh, ones where she's on the ground, you can. But I mean, they still take a buttload of health away. Sky shot finally. Oh man, such an irritating fight. Get used to your new accommodations. Not planning on keeping me here forever, are you? <laughs> the bars will rust eventually. Perhaps by then you will rethink your glory seeking. Tell me, if you are already immortal, why do you seek the citadel? I'm looking for my mother. She was alone. Dead the... by now. You're not the first to venture here with misguided sentiment. I will find her. And you stop me. Abandon your search. Nobody reaches the Citadel, and neither will you. So she gets all butt hurt. Dun dun dun. Suicide blade. Big servant. Oh, it worked. Uh, watching you dawdle so has given me conniptions. Well, I figured I'd use this time to contemplate on things. Dangerous pastime for you mortals. I was wondering, do you carry all my gear with you when you bring me back? Of all things, that is the question that plagues your thoughts. Fine then, what is the meaning of life? Me. Now cease your idling, it's time to go. There. You can see that is why I like to uh, not have my things used. Ooh, this one's a new cutscene. Um, tree. Weird stuff. Um, still, don't use your plumes just yet. After a couple times... Uh, she'll eventually stop putting you in that prison. And when you do that, then you're fine to bring plumes out. But until then, don't use plumes. It's because, you know, you don't want to stop having to pay for one. Ever persistent. I wonder if the others would have shed your spirit. This statue is the good one. You can this one can block like four or five shots. Like a statue where her parents are buried, if I remember correctly. You can also roll these at the last minute, if you're really good.
close. I might pull this off. I have no more heals, so we'll see. I was able to iframe through it. Got where you at? She's healing. No, 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 no. Oh, she's not over here. Already gone. Little idiot. She's reloaded, which is irritating. Oh, God, no. into hell, a crucible of the ascended, to call infidels whose devotion is found wanting without their salvation. We are destined to die. It's a rather bleak bedtime story. Oh, the children knew it by heart. Like they listened. When aging suggests you lack faith, society begins to tear itself apart. Children murdered by jealous parents. Beautiful men and women gutted by admirers who bathed in their blood. The elderly, if they were lucky enough to live that long, were ostracized, clawing against the city gates, howling their final pleas for redemption. But they didn't know. Death is an eventuality for the fortunate. Your prospects aren't looking too favorable. Now, you say that, but I can just keep killing myself, lady. And I think we're able to bring out our plumes now. So, I'll bring along two. Um, I want to say it's after two deaths that she stops putting you in the cell. She realizes she'll just get out every time. I gotta use my bow more just to get that Ever fire. Ever persistent. I wonder if the others would have shed your spirit. Yeah, I'm just dodging everything you do right now. Got a little 
too spicy there for a second. Statue. That statue is such a good hiding spot. prison, which means I'm just going to come out with all the damn plumes. So I don't like this boss, though. It's not, you know, it's not that she is particularly difficult. It's just very much like a... It's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's a patience boss, you know. For how long can you do dodge rolls avoiding it? Ever persistent. I wonder if the others would have shared your spirit. helps either by the fact that the music is like a soft piano piece so you want to fall asleep listening to it <laughs> This time. See, now I got all my poops. Usually, when I have her this slow, I have absolutely nothing to heal with. Now, I got two more heals and my full health. I'm gonna make her kill her parent statue first. And when she comes down, I will. Ah. 
bitch. My mother she was among the and honor her memory. Whether you find her or not, no one is truly alive here. This grave. Empty. Save for the memory of my parents. Nothing to bury. Time and their arrogance made certain of that. But their consciousness endures. Possible. A story for another time, perhaps. Follow me. Beyond these gates, you'll see Kirshi Orai. Within its walls is the dreaded source of immortality. Look upon the citadel and consider your next move carefully. So, um, we can go that way. However, that's going to trigger some cutscenes that really aren't going to make sense right now. Um, it's one of the few things I don't like about this game. Is if we go there, we're, we're getting cutscenes that we're kind of like, wait, what? Why, why is this happening? Um, so for now, at least, we're going to back out. We can always come back this way. Um, there is a sewer entrance that would open up. We'll get that a little bit later. But for now, we're going to head on back and we're going to be taking a... Uh, lower path, kind of a another alternative area, I guess you'd say. Um, by now, also is now is a good time where if you haven't, you should go ahead and spend the money to pick up the seal. I'm going to need it moving forward. Thankfully, you know the run the run back isn't too bad. We're just gonna go this. That guy. And right down here. Drop down. Our horse. Yeah, basically, so the sewer would have brought us right here. So, I mean, if you really want to save a minute and a half later, go ahead and watch the cutscene. I would skip it for now. There's a lot more uh, dialogue and stuff that I think is important to get before that cutscene, just so that you're not like. Not going into it like, wait, what? What the fuck? Tense. Because that's exactly what happens if you go right now. Uh, but where you see us down below, that's exactly where we're going to be going. Nothing new yet. Um, for now, I'm making my way back to Sanctuary just for the sake of having a neutral stopping point, if you will. And I'm so anyway, going to be closing this one on out here in the next episode where we're making our way down below. So make sure to stay tuned, and we will catch you guys then with more Death Scampit.